Um, Kara Cassidy mentioned in tonight's broadcast, and I have certainly addressed this uh, a number of years ago. Naturally, it's going to go back to my childhood uh, because you, it's, it's like a network. It's like a, a, a web, like a spider's web, right? A net, a communications net, full spectrum dominance using AI, okay? AI becomes the hive, okay? If you will, central command, okay? Uh, data collection, okay? Of everything that's happening, total surveillance, okay? In other words, they want complete dominance of the uh, air, everything. So, so in other words, you can't escape its grip of total control, okay? That's, you know, I mean, the Nazis showed everybody that, even if you looked at modern history, okay? I mean, look at anything in history, a king, okay? He's amassed an enormous amount of, of money and resources by invading other territories, conquered that, now he gets all the booty, right? And, I mean, you can take a lesson right out of Nazi Germany, right? All you got to do is look at what's his name, a uh, guy who was a general Paulus. The Sixth Army, right? In Stalingrad. Meat grinder, right? Just sacrificing lives by the thousands, if not hundreds of thousands. Okay? So what ultimately happened out of that? Okay? They got completely surrounded. They didn't have anywhere to go. And what was there? 600,000 soldiers in, in bizarre weather, cold and freezing ass that they had to suffer, spiritual torture, physical torture, the pain and suffering that all those folks went through. Okay, so you know that Adolf Hitler and the SS demons didn't have any regard for all those expendables. That means everything underneath their corporate structure, which is every single one of their institutions, which represents the entire global setup. So when Kerry mentioned, okay, that they run every institution that they set up, okay, in order to control everybody that's here to use it as a slave penal colony, POWs, okay? So when she talked about conversion, they're inverted, right? In other words, we take something that's already been and improve upon it. That's called conversion, okay? They invert, which means they're going in the other direction which means they want to downgrade everything in order to feed on what it is we are because we've already ascended. Or if you will, run at a higher vibration. So we represent higher energy, which is higher spiritual power. So therefore, we become ripe targets for them. So they use our energy in order to do what? Build what was created on this planet, wherever they go, actually. It's just all you have to do is look at what the Roman Empire did. That's called a model. That's called a program model. Okay? That's what they do. So now you experience what they do. Okay? So when you experience what it is that they do with their energy, you know, holding people, once we've conquered the territory, we're going to put you all in chains. Right? Now you become a servant or a master. You work in a boat rowing for the next 40 years of your life, right? For some Roman commander who's going to war. Scale it up on a starship level. No diff. Right? So all they did was up the ante using tech, artificial intelligence, and all their technology weapons. Right? Directed energy weapons, communication systems, command and control. That's what they do. Right? Okay. So I mentioned this in a couple of videos when Kim Kogun came out with all her riffraff. Okay. Um, it's it, And this is where you get into the inside out job or an outside and inside out job. Which means how are you going to change out? Because it's just like my, my grandmother that issued those documents to the international court. Um, what was it? Nine pages long of everything that has to be removed, raced. Because everything that it's represented by is a death call. A death bar. Okay? Which means you'd have to eradicate every single one of them. 
And then what are you left with? The infrastructure that was built, that was holding people's minds, energy captive in their schools, in their militaries, in their educational centers, in their pharmacies, their schools, their neighborhoods, everything, which means the entire movie set on the entire planet is completely corrupted by what built it, by the minds that built it, the Oppenheimer models that built it. And everybody else's energy used as a slave helped get it done for them. So how are you going to convert what's inverted back to what love is? Because that's what the law is. See the problem? So an example of this, it's, it's actually really simple. Okay? Let's, let's bring it down to scale a little bit. Okay? You got, for example, say it, I'll just use a place I worked at. Rockwell International Corporation in the middle of Los Angeles County, Dal Dal uh, Downey, California. Okay, there was roughly when I was there during the heyday there when the Challenger and the Discovery and all that was going on there. There was roughly between 30, 40, 50, 60, I would say somewhere in the neighborhood of 60,000 people that were working at that plant over the course of say 24 hours a day. And that didn't include all the vendors, all the support maintenance people coming in and out of that plant every single day through all those gates. They were all getting a paycheck upon which they pay their electric, their water, their gas, their insurance, money that goes into their account to feed their face, feed their children, pay doctors and dentists and the whole system that is all set up to harvest their energy. Okay. It's an energy harvesting system. Don't kid yourself. It's an energy harvesting system. The whole shebang is an energy harvesting system. From top to bottom, that's what it is. It's inverted. And that's against the law. Okay? And so what you end up, so what you end up with here is every single institution where you have somebody that works at Rockwell, all those people depend on those paychecks. They're held captive to that paycheck. Who do you think runs that money system? They're banks, Bank of America. Go into any bank and they're going to have you sign on the X, X-Men, Geek Squad. That's the AI, okay? I mentioned this before about how the entire distribution table of exchanges that take place between electrons, or if you will, electromagnetic energy on an entire grid, using the water tables and log scales of distribution to have perfect harmony and balance on a planet between the energy givers and the energy disposals. Okay, in other words, it's a circulation library of everything that we're experiencing through all the circulation libraries that can actually measure and map on a planet in vibration and frequency. So if you wanna bring the planet back into the law, that would be 528 and 15D. So that wherever you go on this planet, you're experiencing what love is. That's what the law is. That's an entirely different spiritual realm. This realm fell in spirit, okay? In the underworld. So what did you what would you expect in the underworld? Treated like crap? People making money to make you dead? I mean, think about it. This I I mentioned this before, and this is the truth. Everybody that ever went to med school can actually be prosecuted for a war crime. Did you know that? That would mean that every institution that was set up on this planet and those that participated in it are committing war crimes or breaking the law of one. So you can imagine how many people were simply not aware of it as a result of what they do to people like that to not become aware of it. So you realize what those people represent, the level of crimes that they've committed by what they do to others. So they play, all the shame, sh they play the shell game of being able to jump between bodies, other dimensions, and the alliance that they have using the tech that they have to believe that they can escape accountability for what they do with their energy against others.
That's the truth of it. So when Patty Brassard mentioned one time, oh, you have no idea the scale of this, or why do It's called a rate of spread. You can graph that. You can graph it across a star system, a planet system, in here, a galaxy, within a universe, et cetera, et cetera. When you start from the center point of all creation and you're experiencing what love is, and you realize you can go wherever you want to go because you are in spirit, a cosmic level spirit, because you represent the single point from which it all comes, which is the purest of love, which is the purest of fire. And that means that it's not going to be very difficult to be able to travel throughout everything that there is in the all creation with what you are, which is the purest of life, the purest of cosmic level spirit, and experience something that is less than what you are. Now you begin to measure how bad it is everywhere that you go. By being able to experience the difference between what you are and what it is that isn't. Now you know the difference between the one and the other. So it's like coming in here to survey and measure the damage of what's been done to a spiritual realm to drop it into this low. Right? So now we're back to square one. Center point of a circle, a sphere. It's in perfect harmony and balance, which is on fire. So um, I would simply re respond to her in this way that so you have 60,000 people that work at a corporation that are all working for war criminals. And then you go after all the war criminals that are essentially running and cutting the paychecks and all these people working in these cubicles every day. Okay, from, from the guy who works in, in the maintenance department who's doing carpentry work somebody that comes in there that's filling in potholes in the parking lot somebody who's letting you through the gate right checking your badge or somebody that's cleaning up if you will does all the janitorial work and everybody's coming and going everybody's coming and going just like metropolis in 1927 fritz langs right and everybody's getting their paycheck however they get paid whether it's daily, weekly, monthly, bi-monthly, whether it's the state or wherever it comes from, it's all run by the same outfit. Right? So that means they're all held captive to a criminal corporate system. Pirates. Intergalactic pirates. Corporate thieves. Using military and tech. That's the truth of it. Okay? So essentially what that means is that I think Patty was probably the one that said it, that heavy hitters have to come in. Which, especially from my knowledge of where I come from, is things that exist that they don't even know about because they're not there to know about it, which means they don't actually know what's possible that we're capable of being able to do in order to solve a problem at this level of creation. That is the truth. That's why the security protocols are what they are when you're dealing with artificial intelligence. Because once it becomes aware of what we're aware of, now it's aware of that. And that becomes part of the data stream. That's why I know it's been scanning me for many, many, many years. Okay? And it just won't ever know. It just won't ever know. It just happens. Then it knows. And by that time, it's too late. Because it already happened. Remember when I shared about, hey, it already happened. It already happened. That's how it works. They don't know what hit them. Wow. It's called reactions time. They don't have time to respond. Which means it doesn't have time to make a counter move. Now it can't make a counter move. So it knows it's always been in a race against time because it lives on borrowed time, which is finite energy.